Hey everyone, hello. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be my April favorites. Um, it's better to get them up late than to not get them up at all. So I'm going to just uh, make this intro very quick and simple and get into this video because I have a ton of products to show you guys. So um, let's get started. The first thing on my list is probably my favorite thing of all time and it is my iPhone 4. And you can see me in there. Um, I have loved this thing since I've, I've got it. I got it for my 21st birthday last month and, um, well, in March. And I absolutely love this thing. I cannot go a second without checking it. So if you see me looking down, topping or something, then yeah, I love my iPhone. So next thing, um, I don't have a lot of makeup. I have a lot of skincare and hair care because a lot of my makeup is Mary Kay and I know a lot of people don't like Mary Kay. They would rather see high end like NARS and um, NYX and Coastal Scents and like Hard Candy and stuff like that. But um, I have super sensitive skin and I'm allergic to a lot of things so I can't use that kind of stuff. Um, so I use Mary Kay. So, um, and I am a Mary Kay consultant so I kind of have to wear what I sell, but um, there will be days that I do wear drugstore products, but it's very rare for me to do that. So um, the first thing that is in makeup is my Mary Kay Black Eyeliner, and I love this stuff. I've always loved like the mechanical. I've never liked the pencil liners. I've uh, always heard that they tear your eyelids and stuff. and. Um, my dad is this one guy, and he told me that whenever he wore eyeliner, that um, he would take a lighter and burn the tip of the pencil to make it kind of like a, I don't know, like a, a cream kind of thing, and just to get it to where it'll go on smoother. Um, I was like, yeah, you're a freak. So, yeah. Anyway, the next thing is makeup, and it is my Mary Kay Lash Love. I love black mascara and this stuff is awesome I have very long lashes anyway but this is just look at this brush this gets every little lash and it makes my lashes look like I have false lashes on on some days whenever I actually do take the time to actually do my lashes right um, so I've been reaching for this a lot here lately um, the next thing that I reach for is my Mary Kay Ivory One Cream to Powder Foundation. Um, it's just, it comes in a little case like this and it pops up like that. Um, you can tell I've put like a fairly big dent in it. Excuse my nails. Um, I took my acrylics off and I tried to paint them and they chipped so I need to redo them. But I, I use this every day. Um, love this stuff. I like it better than the liquid foundation that I brought. I use the liquid foundation whenever I'm on TV or if I'm going to film or if I know that I'm going to be like going to host a Mary Kay party or something, going to be meeting with a customer or, um, or a crew. So that's the only time that I will wear makeup. So, like my liquid foundation. I'll wear like a ton of makeup on those days. Like I look like a clown, like no joke. But this is awesome. I love this stuff. And the next thing is my Mary Kay Mineral Powder Foundation. And I'm in the Ivory One. Um, I use this every day over top of my Cream to Powder Foundation. Um, you all know what a powder foundation looks like. Um, it's just got the little twisty cap, the way it won't spill anywhere. You know, I love this stuff. It gives me a matte finish, and that's what I like because I don't like the dewy finish, even though I have very, very dry skin. And I'm trying to be super quiet, guys, because my mom and her husband are asleep, and it is 12:30 in the morning, and um, her husband has to get up at four o'clock to go to work. So I'm trying to be super quiet. So yeah. Um, the next thing is my um, perfume. Uh, my favorite perfume of the month has been. Bella Bolera by Mary Kay and it just looks like this. I really don't know how to describe the scent. It's more floral with a hint of like grape 
um, like grapefruit or something like that, like very citrus. Um, it smells awesome. It does not take me a lot. Like you can tell, I've used it all month, and this is just how far I've got in the bottle. Like I'll do one sprit, then like sprit, spray, <laughs> and like I have the perfume wand for my purse, so I use that. Like if I really want to smell really really good, I will bring out that wand and just load myself down. But this is awesome. I use this every day. Like I said, it's awesome. Now onto body care and skincare. Um, before I tan, I do go tanning. It doesn't look like it because I've got the colon paleness and like the lighting is terrible here in my bathroom because my room is just it just sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it just sucks. I usually film in my kitchen, but I kind of can't go in there because my mom's room is right next to the kitchen, so I can't be loud. So, um, but anyway. Um, before I go tanning, I use my Mary Kay Sugar Scrub. I have four scents in this, and the scent that I have been loving all month long has been the Simply Cotton scent, and it is awesome. I love this stuff. It is excellent. It's a must-have for tanning. And then my tanning bed lotion is Brown Envy for Sinfully Dark Color. It's by Synergy Tan, and it smells like French vanilla after you get it put on and you start laying the tan bed love 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 this stuff um, I got it for $16 at my local tennis salon it's awesome um, the next thing is um, my Mary Kay body lotion it is in warm amber I have the sugar scrub to this I will alternate I have all the lotions to all the sugar scrubs but um, I've loved this the whole month of April um, it is awesome so yeah the next thing is hair products. Um, for shampoo and conditioner, I have been loving the uh, John Frieda Flora Pair Full Body Shampoo and Conditioner. And you can tell I'm almost out of both of them. Um, I've bleached my hair. If y'all hadn't noticed, you probably did. But I've bleached my hair twice and I've colored it like four times. And um, it's super dead. I hate to say it, but I fried it. So I haven't been using a lot of hair products, um, I haven't been using a lot of styling tools or anything like that. So that's why I just have it curly. I didn't want to overdo it too much so um, I just scrunched it. And to scrunch it, I use the Herbal Essence Body Envy Volumizing Mousse and it is the 3 Max. And I love, love, love this stuff. Out of every one of them that I've tried, I've loved this one the most, simply because I have very thick hair, and if it's not done right, it will just fall flat, and apparently I've done it right, because it's fairly curly and stuff, and I love it. So, and whenever I do use like my hair dryer, my um, straightener, my curling arm, I will use the John Frieda um, luxurious volume weightless spray and it's the blue dry lotion root booster and it just looks like this I got this at my local Walmart um, I love this stuff it says spray on towel dried hair um, concentrated on the roots but I usually just spray it all over my head <laughs> I don't know why but I usually just do and I'm very, very sick, guys. Like, no joke. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, so my next two things are kind of my life. <laughs> um, I would be lost without these two things. I'm so happy that I purchased them. Um, the first one is my um, Spornet teasing comb. My dog has chewed the crap out of it. He got it out of my room. You can tell. But I bought this at Sally's and it was on sale and I had seen um, Child Bella use this a ton of times to tease her hair and she's a lot of my inspiration with YouTube. Um, her and Kate from um, Friday Night Highlight or something like that. Um, I love their videos and I love Kate's hair, like Kate's hair and I love Meg's hair and I love how she teases her hair so I tease my hair a lot but here lately I haven't been doing it I haven't done it for like two weeks but I've used this a lot and this is definitely one of my most favorite things to have 
And then my um, hairspray of the month has been the Tresemme Mega Firm Control All Day Humidity Resistant uh, Tres T Spray. And it is in the um, 5 hold. Love this stuff. I reach for it. I have a tiny little bottle in my purse to take with me every time I go out because you never know when you're going to need hairspray. So, love this stuff. And the very last thing for my April favorites would have to be my acne wash. Um, I have a big skincare routine that I do of a morning and then I do a different thing at night. But the thing that I've rich, you know, rich, reached for the most in the month of April has been my oil free acne wash pink grapefruit foaming scrub from Neutrogena. I've used this for almost um, seven months now and my skin has been fairly clear. I haven't had all that much of a breakout or acne problem since I've been using this and I love it. And it actually does smell like grapefruit. It smells like it does. Like I could sit and like smell this. Like this is my holy grail of all the stuff that I have in my April favorites, this is my holy grail. I reach for this the most. I do this up to two times a day. But um, on days that like I know that I'm not going to be putting on makeup or anything, I'll just do it once. Um, just to let it kind of get my skin all good and stuff. So, but guys, that was my April favorites video. I know this was kind of short and that I was kind of talking fast, but I'm very sick and I don't want to stress my voice out too much because I'm starting a new job soon. I went for my interview today and I barely could talk and um, done my drug test and stuff and they done an oral test and it just it took a toll on me and um, I'm getting ready to lose my voice anyway so I'm just going to go ahead and end this and tell you all about some stuff that's going to be coming up. I'm going to be doing a follow me around vlog every week. Um, there will be new vlogs up every Monday, either on this channel or my other channel that's full of random stuff, so it'll probably be on that one, and I'll link that down below, and um, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, then follow me, and if y'all have any requests on videos or anything, then let me know, and I hope y'all have a wonderful night or day or evening, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this video, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.